Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, UGears US UKids LLC. Uh, today we're going to be doing the assembly of uh, antique bugs or anti antique bugs. Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, UGears US UKids LLC. Today we're going to be doing assembly of antique bugs, uh, one of the uh, fun models. Um, I'm expecting it to be as fun as the treasure bugs that we've had before and uh, hopefully it is going to be as popular uh, let's see so just um, as always let's start with opening up the model and uh, that's a newer design newer style box that uh, now on all the models where it flips open rather than you slide it open uh, inside the box we have some thicker rubber bands some thin rubber bands Sandpaper, which is going to be useful. A uh, piece of candle wax. Going to put that aside. Then a few boards. Um, with an <laughs> instructions manual. Uh, so let's see. And let's go as usual with the instructions manual. I'm going to put the boards on the side. Uh, so they go one, two, three, four. Flip them upside down and uh, assembly instructions. So on the first page you see here it's a list of additional components uh, or additional parts, spare parts that are included with the model. So in case if you break anything they're on there. It has a plus symbol and it points to the part. Uh, I guess it's a little newer than it was before. Before it was add plus. Now it's just a plus sign for the replacement parts or spare components, spare parts. And then the symbol, some of the symbols that we go in the manual. So if you see a little uh, gear, candle wax and the toothpick, that means you need to uh, wax the portion. Uh, exclamation uh, point, exclamation mark means that you need to pay close attention. And that particular point of the assembly, sandpaper, that's where you need to uh, send off um, some parts uh, then if you see the gears with the little errors that a mechanism should be smooth operating and then obviously uh, here we need to if you see a little ruler you need to check the size of it we do have two different helping tools on here so one is h1 and then one is h2 uh, and there one is on board number one on the left side here that's h1 and then H2 is on board number two. I'm gonna pull it out right away, and it's a bottom right, little right, uh, right off the center line. So it's a H2 tool. So I'm gonna pull both of these to the side right now, and uh, put the boards here. Uh, now let's go ahead and start with the assembly. Before we do that, I want to mention, as always, that I can uh, help you with the replacement components if uh, you break any other ones besides the ones listed on that page number two. Um, if you purchase the, uh, the model from us, the replacement is at no charge uh, and will ship from US Warehouse. If you purchase the model elsewhere, I can request the uh, spare parts for you from the manufacturer. Uh, but uh, delivering into US takes usually about uh, three to four weeks or for extra three dollars and fifty cents uh, I can ship it from US warehouse I'm not charging you for the parts just for the shipping cost um, All right, let's go ahead and start with the assembly uh, page number four step number one Over here top left we need parts number one two and two threes so one and two are located top left and Two threes are also in the same thing of the board number one in the same location. And then we need to wax a little on the side here. I'm gonna open the little wet candle. So we need to wax on the sides for part number one and two. So they slide nice and easy. Uh, these part number two goes from the right side and 
part number one from the left. And then you push them together as much as you can. Until they're flush on both sides with each other. All right, and now it needs to be symmetrical. And we need to push it as far as we can. So you use the tool or your fingers to push up against the table uh, to make sure, well, first of all, they're gonna be symmetrical and then both parts are flush on both ends. So we're done with that. Step number two is need, we need part number four. Uh, which is also on the board number one, at top right side, almost at the top, um, halfway between the middle and top. So pull these two out and then we can use either sandpaper. I prefer to use a little uh, uh, precision file that I have. So you just sand these cylindrical surfaces. There's some connection points and there you send, send them off to get nice and smooth surface. And then you put a little bit of a candle wax on those, uh, right on the outside surface. And then those goes on both sides of uh, the sub-assembly that we just did. One on the left, one on the right. and you push them as far as they can go. And then we wax a little teeth right here on part number three. The gear teeth, because they can be engaging. And we're done with part number eight. Uh, step number three is we need parts number five and six. Uh, two sixes, and then they're in the top right corner. The sixes are, so we need two of those. And then number five parts are, uh, a part is on the left. There's one additional and one normal. So whichever one you wanna pull out, whichever one easier, easier for you. So we just wax a little bit. We just wax a little on the sides here. It does show a step on part number five, but I don't see it. And then we need to, uh, well, first of all, remove a little bit uh, of uh, burrs here from wood with extra pieces. And you slide part number six almost all the way to the center. Of that part number five so there is no little step it's just a flat part five and uh, let's see wax the uh, gears of course and then parts number seven they're in the bottom left of the board number one so we take both of those out and then the B should face to the right uh, so, uh, I'm inserted from both. It's... Both of the gears should, the B should face top and to the right. Once again, I'm re removing the burst with the um, tool cutter here. Just like that, so. And then we lock it up both up with uh, part, part number eight, which is in the top right corner, right next to the sixes. So here you can use the tool H1 to help you push the part number eight out. All 
uh, we also need to send and wax part number eight and all you need to send is just a connection point so you don't need to go all around but with the wax uh, just go all around to get it on full surface so and then eight will lock up all these gears and we got a part number b or part b all right let's move on to page number five step number one we need parts number nine and ten they're still on board number one so part number nine is going to be right at the center here at the top and then 10 is on the uh, right hand side right next to the edge a little bit above the middle so we pull these two out we need to do a little bit of a wax on number 11 I'm sorry number nine and then uh, actually on all the surfaces and then put number 10 wax wax it up Oh, speaking of which we forgot to wax some of the gears on the previous assembly so I'm just gonna grab it on assembly B and put a little bit of a wax on the gears and then put a wax on a C or 10 and then with the C facing up and then with the longer and thicker portion going through the C push it all the way to the little tabs here so all the way onto the uh, part number nine then we need two more of number six top right of the uh, board number one Now these also a little wax on the gears. And that gets inserted from both sides. And to the part number nine. So there is a little bit of a space between the gear 10 and two sixes. And then all that, we need two more, number eight. Same as before, a little bit of a scent. Sending there. And application of uh, wax and all around on the surface. We're on step number eight, uh, page number five. And let's see, like those up. Just like that. So that's our uh, sub-assembly C. Uh, next step number nine, uh, we need parts number 11 and 12. So 11 is a halfway between the middle and the bottom on the right hand side here to the right of the center line and then part number 12 is right at the center almost at the center closer to the top here so same same thing here we just do a little bit of wax on the sides push the thicker portion as far as it can go flush with that little tab then two eights on the outside I just lost one but I will get it back so same thing you just Wax on the outside and a little sanding and waxing. And that would be our sub assembly D. We'll 
also put it on the side and then uh, parts number step 11 parts number 15 and 16 uh, so 16 is at the middle to the left of the center line and then 15 is right at the top at the center so here we do weight wax number 15 on on the sides and then push with a 16 with a hook facing away from you uh, E facing to the right you push it with the longer side as far as it can go so it's also kind of in the center so that's our sub assembly e. moving on to the page number six uh, step number 12 uh, would be parts number 13 and 6 so the six is still at the top right corner. I had it fall, fall fell out, and we'll need number eights from here too. So I'm gonna use that, get those out right away, so I don't have to come back to it. It's a little further in the instructions. All right, so part number thirteen, uh, which is gonna be. Where did I see it? It's on the left here, oh, right below part number three. So we do um, sending on the sides. That's just for easier to reduce the friction and we need uh, gear number six inserted from the longer side. As far as it can go to the little tabs. And then don't forget to wax the gear itself. Which once again, I think I didn't put anything on gear num on gear D. As I see, there's some burrs there too. But you can always apply at any point, and then. So we got that uh, six installed on 13. Then we need two number 14s. One is in the bottom left here, it has an F on it. And one is just below the middle, almost right at the center here. And so these go from left and right with F facing to the right and top. So both F's facing the same direction that way. And then um, jumping around here, wax the gears, obviously. It feels like I'm gonna use up the wax pretty quick. And then uh, we need parts number eight, which we already took out, which were on the board number one. Uh, send them down. And put them on the sides. And that's our subassembly F. Moving on to the page six step number uh, 15 uh, part number 17 which is on board number one above the middle here a uh, large component then part number 18 is uh, to the right halfway between the middle and the bottom to the right of the center line and so here with the longer piece sticking away from you uh, we need to wax that surface right here right around the holes and then uh, 18 bottom uh, closer to you insert it into assembly so next step uh, we need uh, step number 16 we need let's see the little key looking thing with uh, gears facing away from you we need Subassembly B and C. 
I just need to look up which ones are B and C. B have, well, B on it. And then C is going to have a C on it, of course. Makes total sense. Right, and then they go into the, uh, so A goes into the first hole. Uh, B goes into that second hole. And you need kind of have them inserted. So B would go first. They kind of insert them all together. C goes in the third hole. With the gears engaging and A goes into the first one. So they all kind of need to be engaged and at the same time um, inserted into those holes. Uh, you need to pay attention with that little diagram here of uh, how B and A should interact. So the B should face kind of a little bit towards top and to the right and A straight up with the gears engaging with each other. Which probably wouldn't matter much at this point of time. Is this supposed to be fairly symmetrical? All right, we got all these three in. And let's see. Next one is D and F. So D goes in first. Into the fourth hole. And F would be into the fifth hole. Once again, make sure the gears are engaged. And they will fit nice and perfect. The little mechanism. Moving on to the step, uh, page number seven, step 18. And that little subassembly E goes into that last hole. with the E facing you and uh, the little hook to the right. Now we need part number 17, which is, uh, well, right below the other 17. Uh, just facing uh, kind of same, same direction. Uh, we do need a little bit of ascending on inside right around holes and then a little bit of a wax too although it doesn't show on there but we did the same thing on the other side and then uh, we make sure all these um, number eights fall right into the places into the holes so that that uh, piece on the bottom 18 snaps together and then uh, E moves easily and now we need to make sure all the gears are moving nice and smooth so just uh, let's see well we need to make sure that everything is inserted properly just like this and now without too much squeezing because that way you're blocking the movement you need to make sure all these gears move mechanism moves back and forth so let's see just a little bit working in so back and forth and it should go forward as far as horizontal just like this horizontal and vertical so 90 degree full 90 degree 
turn if you feel a little bit of uh, clicking or sticking somewhere uh, just work it back and forth until you get rid of it so there's just a little burst removing back and forth so I'm just playing with it the movement should be very easy front and back so and full 90 degree turn so 90 horizontal and vertical all right so we're done with that step now push it put it aside and now we need parts number step number one on the bottom here of page number seven uh, parts number 20 90 and 19 two of them two of each so 20s are and 19s they're all the way on the top right hand side here two 19s and two 20s Now uh, let's see with the 19 with a hole facing towards the top and away from you. Windsor 20 with the tap facing you in, on the left hand side there. Into one and then on the other one from the right side. So it's kind of mirror images and then we need part number 21 which is right on the right hand side right here. Uh, part number one. And then uh, with these little turned facing towards the bottom, uh, kind of like rounded off holes, we insert the, with the hole on the right hand side on the right from the back, and the other one on the opposite side, so making it a mirror kind of like in the mirror mirror image and just like this make sure they're fully inserted and we put it on the side for now uh, step number three we need part number 23 22 and 24 so they're still uh, we're still on the same page to tw uh, 23 on the left side here on the top board number one 24 right at the center Uh, 22 would be on the bottom here to the right a little bit we'll need also 25 um, so uh, let's see 22 with the tab or slots facing up 24 goes from the right hand side on the bottom hole And then 23 goes on the left into the top hole. Then we wax on the sides here just to make sure that we can insert number 25. 25 gets sanded and all around and a little bit of a wax. And that goes over the uh, this little subassembly that we just made all the way as far as I can go. And now we need to make one more just like that. So we need parts number 22, bottom, 25, 23, and 24. And same thing 24 from one side into the bottom 23 is on the other side on the top then we wax a little bit the sides Uh, send down the part number 25 the connection points and wax all around and then goes over the little sub 22 23 24 sub assembly all the way to the bottom 
All right, then it's uh, part number 26. That's a large part on the bottom left of board number one. Uh, and then they go into two little holes. So that cut out facing you, two holes on the right and left of the side with a thinner portion in there. And then we insert the subassembly that we in step number six, that we made in step number six with the holes facing up and that uh, board facing away from you, we insert into these two little slots there. Uh, let's see. Pushing it through the slots. And aligning the little sub assemblies there so you can squeeze it as far as it can go. like this and then you need to make sure that both of these are rotating freely these 22 23 24 sub assembly 25 they rotating freely into the in those holes and then a little assembly that we made in the beginning that goes right in the center with the uh, let's see so this facing away from you uh, so that little hook goes also away. Uh, we need to, let's see, push it in. And um, that subassembly E needs to go into this little hole right here. So make sure you get guided correctly. It's like a little lock. And then you push all these in. as far as it can go. The hook is still little hook in the E is in that slot and it still works nice and easy. That we same way as which when we checked it. So now it's all good. We put it aside. Moving on to the page number nine. Step number one, uh, board number two now. need parts number 28 two of them and 27 28 is a little to the left of the center line closer to the tab here and 27 would be let's see uh, right below them to the left a little bit 27 we wax the sides and put 28 into these two little slots make sure the 28s are facing the same direction and snap them kind of together and symmetrical around the part number 27 then we take part number 29 at uh, that's a little bit halfway between middle and the top to the right of the center line. Uh, we need to wax a little bit into that opening uh, part number 28. So it's easier to slide in that part number 29. And then we wax the sticking out portion of number 27. So 29 goes flat into that slot. Just like that make sure it's all the way in and then uh parts number 30 their bottom left here they go on the side of these little part number 27 and that's sub assembly with the key facing up insert are inserted into that's two holes towards the front of the sub of the bit larger assembly that we just made. As far as they can go. And 
now we're at step number five we need a thin rubber band uh, loop it around and making about uh, 10 to 12 millimeters length of the loop so the way to loop it is just wrap it around the finger push it through the hole that you just created and make a loop just like that not sure if you can see it or not and then you measure off about 10 millimeters so you bring the knot to that location and then as you tie it put pulling it from one end to the other just make sure you're same length that you created and it's we're right about where we need it to be so we are not cutting anything off you tie it as much as you can now we pull that little sub-assembly 27, 28, 29, and 30 up. And then the, uh, let's see, the little, little loop goes right over it into the slot that is closer to the base here. So there's a little cutout slot. And the, make sure the knot is on the outside there. And now we move H2 moving on to the page number 10 we take a little H2 tool that we had goes through the hole from the bottom on the right hand side let's see So on the right hand side we grab the rubber band make sure you hook it uh, the little hook goes to forward and we push the rubber band through on one side and then move it So it needs to be kind of on both sides of that little loop here. So we need to wiggle it around a little bit to get the other side uh, part of the rubber band on the other side. So it kind of goes around that E key down on the bottom here. And then we pull it as we pull the rubber band the shorter end we hook onto the E there's a little hook on the bottom there and lock it on there so as we pull it we cut off all the excess so the knot is still there and that concludes step number six so now when you pull on that thing it just snaps right back all right excess rubber band no need anymore uh, step number one on the bottom of the page number 10 are parts number 31 a and b they're in the top right corner here so we'll do the b on the right side a on the left just like it's show and then parts number 32 they're on the left. There's two of them. Careful because those are fragile pieces. And then those go 31B on the right side, the, the little hook towards the left. We need to slightly get the center. We'll start from the, let's see, bottom hole here. Kind of bend it carefully around and pushing it into the old hole so there's a little nice bend there and then same thing on uh, 31a so this uh, the little um, cutouts facing towards you and then 
and same thing here bottom center kind of bending it over and top just like that and now they get inserted into our larger assembly there there's um those little slots over there and uh let's see the 31 a and b need to fit in the slot holes here while that little lever is raised up so there's kind of like three steps do the same thing so i'm going to start with the top and center And then bottom guiding into the hole. With that little hook up, push it in and slide it. And down. As far as it can go. Flat to the surface. So that little hook um, kind of sits on the little step that is on part number 31. And same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to start from the top, then the center, and then guide it from the bottom for the bottom side. Slide it in. snaps in the right place the hook is still there and we're done with step number three on page number 10 moving on to the page number um, 11 step number one parts number 33a top right right here and 234 is there at the top center of board number two Uh, now with the, let's see, there's a longer and a shorter tabs on 33A. So the shorter is going to be on the right hand side with the little slots facing up. And we insert parts number 34 with a thicker tab going down. Just like this. And then part number, step number two, part number 36 on the left here. And 35 on the top left of the center line. So 36 can then go with the little hook facing away from you and towards the top onto the back of that longer tab all the way in. And then 35 with a little uh, marking toward facing you goes onto the parts number 34 towards 33 and then once again we need to make sure that it's all the way in All right, now we got our G and then uh, we need part number 33B, which is right here to the left of the center line, a little below the middle. And we do the same thing here, except the longer um, tab facing to the right right now. So we need two parts number 34.
And that's step number one to the right there. Top right. Now part number 36 on the right side now. And 35 from the front. Hook facing up and away from you. And then 35 with the markings towards you. Kind of get it under the angle. And that's going to be H, G and H. Put them on the side. Now we need to make another loop. So I'm going to come back to the rubber band that just put aside. And that loop needs to be six to seven millimeters. So I'm just going to use the, reuse the same rubber band as it, it is long enough. Create a little loop there. And we need to be like a really, really tiny loop. And we need to make two of those. So here's one. Put it aside. And then we need to make another one. This is too short, so I'm going to grab another rubber bend. another tiny loop about five six millimeters in size alrighty so now these uh, we need part number 37 it is on still board number two and 37 is on the right hand side here so we need both of them for the g and h we wax on inside of a little hook here and now g these little hooks facing you Use the rubber bands gets hooked on a hook of part number 36 pulled out and then 37 gets inserted with that little hook that we just towards assembly and then locked with that little slot on one side and then on the other And we're done with step number two on page number 11. Moving on to page number 12. Uh, turn around the sub assembly and that gets inserted with the little tabs on these two little holes. So H on one side. Just like that. And now we need to put the 
these up, I guess. And uh, 38 A and 38 B, which are should be on board number two below the middle here. 38 A on the left, 38 B on the right. Wax little tabs right here. Is that going to be rotating? And that goes into. Part number 37, little loop there. One side and the other. into the little tabs there on both sides so let's just make sure to line them up And the little hook should lock it up so when you press it it opens up that compartment all right same thing on the other side let's see if we can So they close and open. And let's see, just that little all right. I see what's in the way there. So I'm gonna do a little rubber band. Not is uh, in between and it's actually preventing it from a good rotation. So I'm just gonna get that nut out and it should do the trick. So that should even everything out. And lock, lock it in place. Alrighty. It's all good now. Page number 12, step number one on the left. Need part number 39, which is on board number 
two with the large part in the middle. And then parts number 40, which are to the left of that. There's two of them. We wax the gears, of course. And then with that longer tab away from you, rounded a portion goes also away from you. Insert the two right in the center slots there. Now we need parts number 41. They're on board number three, top right. And parts number 42, bottom right side of the board number two. So once again, when you push these out, just be careful because these are fragile. So, and uh, you want to insert them into the ones from left and right. So we do from start from the bottom and kind of slowly guiding them in. Maybe lifting it up a little bit to get it on the right and one on the left. You bend it just lift a little tiny bit and insert them into the corresponding slots into our sub assembly right and left and then lock it up with 43 which is bottom right of board number two bottom left i apologize and these go lock it up on the outside just make sure you guide it so you don't break Just like that and then the other side same thing I started from the back and then a little guidance and then squeeze them together once again just careful because they're pretty fragile you don't want to break them off and we're done with that portion step number uh page number 12 moving on to the page number 13 and here 44b and 44a uh, which are on board number three top left 44b goes on the left 44a on the right so there's little slots on the bottom and two On the left, lock it up. Same here on the left hand side. Parts number 45, which are on board number two. Now right at the left of the center here and right of the center line, a little bit higher. Uh, we wax the little tabs so they're going to be easier to insert. Uh, 
and with a thicker portion on the side, we insert those into the 44, just like this. All the way in. And now we wax the sides, I guess, and top portion of the parts number 45. Just in case I'll wax the bottom too. I'm not sure where the errors are pointing exactly. Now step number seven, I'm gonna put that aside. Step number seven, we need parts number 54, which are on board number three to the right. Two large portions, part number 46, which are still on board number two. There are two of them and the third just a extra piece. I'm gonna use the tool to push those out. And these go so that little cross facing away from you, one goes from the left side and one goes from the right. Uh, and this hole, rectangular hole, just uh, the one right above that slot there. And these should be horizontal. And same thing with the other one, just from the other side. You can wax them a little bit to slide uh, to slide them easier, and just like that, and we're done with page number thirteen. Moving on to the page number fourteen, <clears throat> step number eight. So that whole sub assembly goes from the bottom where all the gears are at, and let's see. So it should be all the way against the uh, little back here. All the way flat. And as we insert it, so while that all, um, this portion that key all the way up. And then uh, we put the sub assemblies with part number 54 and 46 on the right and left hand side while it's still upside down. This is vertical once again. And then the 46 should face uh, towards inside. And we slide these opposite direction. And right and left hand side. So that 46 goes into the slots here. And then we need to fit it into the openings. Tabs. Need to make sure that everything fits nice and perfect as we squeeze it onto the parts. 
one side and then the other side. Careful not to break anything. And they should fit all into the tabs as far as it can go on all the sides, locking kind of everything in place. Make sure there's no openings. All the sides are good. And uh, let's see. We're done with that step number eight, right? Alrighty. Everything where it's supposed to be. And then uh, parts number 51 and 53. Uh, they're both on board number two, 52 and 53, bottom to the left of the center line. And 53 is right at the center line. So 53 from the top. Now make it flat. And then put wax on all the sides. And that, get, that gets inserted from That's bothering me. That gets inserted with a shorter side into that rectangular hole. As far as it can go. Part number 57, which is on board number three at the top here. Use the tool. Those go with the little step facing down. They go into the two holes here. Then uh, 58, three of them on board number two. Or three, board number three. I apologize to the right. Go into the three holes at the top here with that uh, thicker or um, fatter part towards the, towards the box. One, two, three. No, two holes here and one on the bottom. That's why I was sliding in very easy. 
And then part number 55, which is on board number three. Need to uh, sand down that surface right here where the, without the gears. And then put a little bit of wax on the gears itself. And a little tab here. And that goes from the taller portion through the parts 57 that we inserted. Step number four with the gears facing down. Step number four, we need part number 48 and 47. They're on board number two. 48 is right at the center at the top here and 47 is the gear right next to it. Now we need to wax the gear. Wax 48. So we can insert it in the gear. Now we look at the gear from the top. We uh, So the two dots are to towards top left and then one dot facing you. We insert 48 from the top with the longer portion going down. So it's horizontal. That would be R1. We'll put it on the side. And then uh, step number five, we need parts number 50, 51, and 49, which are 49s right here. 50 is bottom left here. There are two of them. And 51 is to the right of the center line. That would be our R2. Now here we need to wax all the gears obviously. And then 51 faces down, the two dots closer to you. 50 we insert into the 51 with the longer portion sticking up. And then 49 goes from the top with dot matching the dot here, the location. And then the little marks going to be facing towards left there we insert it closer to 51 and that's going to be our r2 now we uh, need to match all these dots with our larger assembly that's step number six on page number 15 so we kind of put it on the side so there's two dots on the, the long portion we take the uh Little sample assembly R1 inserted into the opening hole there. And our one dot should be in between the two dots on the longer piece, just like this. And then we match up the second sub assembly R2, the two little dots, uh, one on the bottom goes in between the two dots on the R1. And then we need part number 56, which is on board number three, on the uh, top left here. Sure, it doesn't matter which one you take. That goes over the pieces here and this little mark should match the mark on R2, just like this. Now, once all these are matching, oh, we do need to wax that little gears on here.
once all these marks are matching as shown do wax the little sticking out tabs because they're all going to be in a rotational and easier to insert if you wax them and then we put 59a which is on board number three at the top here right at the center that goes over all these little tabs locking everything in place careful this is gonna be a fragile part And we need to put it on all the tabs. To lock it all up. Not too hard though. That locks it all that side together. And let's see. Now step number eight, we do need the thicker rubber band cut. And then we need approximate length of 45 millimeters. So that would be from zero to 45 right here. For me, I got ton of millimeter marks here. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Four and forty five, and then parts and step number nine is three steps ABC. Uh, we need part number sixty and sixty ones, two of them, which are all on board number three. So sixty is the bottom right. And 61s are right here. We need two of them. So we use our tool. They're right in the middle to the right. All right. So now we take the rubber band, wrap it around longer pieces, and put one end into that hole in the middle, and then lock it with a 61. by inserting 61 into that hole. Just as far as it can go. Use the table as a helping tool. Now we wrap the rubber band all around. Make sure it overlaps the hole and from the other side. And we put the second 61 from the same side. Locking rubber band in place as far as it can go. So now ru rubber band is locked on there. And that little piece goes on the bottom here. That's just a leg. With the rubber band facing down. Just like this. And let's see. So this little sub assembly should move along. With that little opening mechanism. Very easy back and forth. That's step number 10 that we're checking on page number 15. And then we're moving on to the page number 16.
we don't have much left. So I guess continue as we go. Page 16, step one, uh, we need parts number 62 and uh, 263. Uh, they're both on board number three. So 62, let's see, right here to the left and uh, 63 is within it. So just pull one black out, push the um, 63 out, the centerpiece. And uh, both of these go uh, side by side into that slot right here at the front with a taller uh, facing outward. Push it as far as they can go. Flush with the surface. And make sure that goes from the side where the design is at. So looks nice and pretty next step is part number 64 that's on board number four that's that big piece right here that's the cover and then, then uh, two parts number 65 which are on board number three uh, one is on the left here right at the middle It out. And one is uh, to the right of the center line, a little halfway between middle and the top. So these two go on the side, so your gears are facing up. Uh, did you see the sign? 65 goes on that little tab on the right and on the left. And then uh, that subassembly 6263 uh, goes right into this opening right here. So first we need to actually put that one in. That's the first step. Then uh, part number 65, it goes over the tab and onto the that little 6263 sub assembly and then on the other side so makes a little nice cover there just like this and it should move up and down with a little uh, 63 facing up obviously all right so next step is uh, three we need part number 66 And that is located on board number three on the bottom here. Actually, that's uh, and then the part. So careful because it's a delicate piece. And then part sixty-eight is on inside there, so you need to push it out. And then 68's got these little tabs, you can remove them. That's the little exclamation point there. Uh, so we don't need those. So 68's gonna be on the side right now. And then uh, part 66 got a little cutout here on one of the sides. So that cutout should face towards the back, towards the cutout right here of the um, cover so just uh, set it here and then step number four is parts number 67 to lock it in place so 67 are located right next to that um, part where the 66 67 oh, 68 were so one two two of them are there and the third one is to the left and above and those go with a little tab facing towards the inside 
they go in the three holes. And we push them all the way in. Those are the three holes that are here. push them as far as they can go so they, they do double function they like this uh, centerpiece in place and at the same time they're gonna serve to like that number 68 that's the next step number five and then 68 that's that number five once again there is three holes so I just line them up Put it on top and put it aside for now step number six we need parts number uh, let's see uh, 270s they are all on board number four uh, then 71a and 71b so 270s are all the way in the bottom push them out Seventy one A on the left and seventy one B right above there on the right. And then we need parts number sixty nine. Total um, eight of them. And all those are going to be on the left here, top left of board number four. So I'm just gonna use the tool to get those out. see so this should face uh, towards the center just like this into that direction kind of like towards the uh, center parts so the axis like the lar larger axis is going to be perpendicular to the long X is going to be perpendicular to the long axis of the part where it gets inserted. And now all that goes into the uh, little corners here. Locking everything in place. And make sure that everything is flat to the surfaces. All right, then we're complete step number seven on page 16. Moving on to the page number 17. That gets inserted into the box. into this little opening here uh, with that slot. And that would be our, okay, we need to open the bottom portion first. Pull that out. This is most forward and back easy. It's 
So we pull it out and then we need to insert the cover into the opening here, locking the tab in and aside and into the center piece. So we're gonna lock it onto the side first and then lock it onto the center piece and it should go inside that little design just like this now we need to push these bottom pieces in and pushing the cover down at the same time help it out as much as you can on all the sides because right now the assembly is not complete yet so we need to uh, be careful not to break anything so we uh, that's completes the steps now on page number 17 and next is uh, page number 18 step number one I'm gonna put the box on the side for a second and so we kind of go through the same steps as we did for left or for one side now we're going on the opposite side so parts 52 and 53 both of them on board number two and let's see where they at 52 53 they're right here at the center just right above the bottom 52 from the top 53 from the bottom And then make sure they're all nice and flat, the surfaces. Wax both sides. And then that goes on to the, the little cross opening that's on the opposite side of the box. go as far as it can then we need two parts number 57 which are on board number three and one is right here at the center almost at the bottom and the second one is to the left of it at the edge so those go into these two openings here or with the step facing down. wax on the tips there on the tabs because they go pretty hard inside so hard to insert them then wax will reduce the friction so it'll be a little bit easier so once again with the uh, step facing down one on the left side it's much easier now with the wax one on the left and one on the right. Uh, step number three, we need part number 55, which is right here on the same board number three, right at the center, just a little below the middle. And that we need to uh, sand the top. And then wax. the teeth and the top little piece here and that goes in through these two uh, parts number 57 that we just installed and facing down and parts now uh, parts number 58 three of them they're on board number uh, three on the right hand side here that surface facing you they go on the three holes two holes on the right here and one hole on the bottom so with the thicker portion towards the box 
Just gonna get my finger in there to give me some leverage. Once again, they're a little hard to get in. So I'm gonna wax both sides of the tabs because I know there's gonna be another piece get going on it from the previous side. Step number four, we need to create L1. That's uh, part number 48 on board number two. I would assume it'd be on board number two. See right at the top here. Center, uh, center line, a little above the middle. And then part number 47 is to the left of it. Now we wax the gears on uh, 47 and then 48 will wax both sides. Now we need to uh, have that one dot facing you and then uh, 48 we insert from the top perpendicular in a horizontal I mean the long axis is in a horizontal direction put it aside next one step number five is parts number 50 51 and 49 part number 50 i just saw it right here bottom left 51 is bottom at the bottom right and then 49 is uh on the side of uh, 47. Now we need to wax all the gears. And uh, with this shorter piece inserting into 51 with the dots, let's see, so two dots one facing you, one is a little bit to the left, so turn the gear the correct way, we insert it from the top. They're just Those dots is just for you to match with the uh, assembly at a later point of time. And then uh, the little gear, the dot also should face you, and then um, the little mark will be to the right, about like uh, 230 position or so. So you just press it in. Make sure it sits nice and flat there. And uh, step number six, now we put these parts in place. So with the little L1, one dot should face top and fall in between the two dots on a little piece there. And then the subassembly L2 we get uh, the mark should face to the left and then the dot there's two dots so the dot that is on the gear should go in between the two dots on l1 just like that and the next step we need part number 56 the one that we already had out and the mark so we need to wax the gears on there and the mark on here should match the mark on the um, on a gear L2 we put it over let's see just like that over the little um, cross onto the cross and then marks match and then we insert the tab into the cover as far as it can go Make sure all the everything matches. Nice and good. Um, all the dots are matching the way it's supposed to. And then we we'll put part number 59B over it. And so 59B is located on board number three. 
and it's to, to the left right here it's a longer piece that one goes over all the little tabs assembly in place. Alrighty, so moving on to the page number 19. Here we need to create uh, the second, so we got uh, 45 millimeters again. Uh, so we have the rubber band. I measure 45 millimeters. You can measure it with this piece. So 0 45 is right here, like right at the edge. I'm using my little table up here one two three four forty five right about here once again it doesn't have to be like perfectly exact so if it's 44 or 46 should be fine too uh, and we need part number 60 and 61 so 60 on board number three bottom right and then two 61s are right at the middle there to the right of the center line Push them out with the tool. Uh, same thing as on the other side. Um, we put the rubber band over the hole. Not too far out, just to make sure it just can, kind of covers the hole. And then we insert part number 61. Then we wrap the rubber band around to, towards the other side, put it over the hole, and then insert 61 into the second hole, locking the rubber band in place. Just like that. And then that piece goes, step number 10 goes on the, on that opposite side from the other one that we inserted, right into the opening there, with 61 facing towards the top. So you want the rubber band to be on the bottom, that's kind of like a hole, kind of like your leg make sure it doesn't scratch the table. Now we need to make sure that the cover easily opens, so we need to work it in and out. mechanisms back and forth Careful not to break anything. Right, something gets stuck here on the side for me. So I need to figure out what it is.
work it back and forth slightly. easy in and out and the more you work these uh, gears the easier it's gonna become step is uh, to create side boxes uh, we need uh, page number 19 step number one on the bottom there uh, uh, part number 73a and 72a they're both on board number four 73a is to the right here in halfway between center line and the side and then 72a is going to be on board number three bottom left uh, let's see so 73a design facing towards the left a hole closer to you the tap on 72a facing you and then we insert it into that slot wax the side of 72a now 74a that should be on the bottom left of board number four. Uh, let's see what the design facing you. We put it through that hole here, the tabs, and lock them up. Now we need part number 75A, which is also on board number four on the right hand side, right in the middle there. Uh, wax these little sides here. And then that 75A uh, is on the bottom, the sub assembly that we just created. Uh, there's two little openings here, so that's where the uh, tabs go. Cutouts, and then uh, Cut out on the side. Make sure you squeeze it as far as they can go. And get a little kind of box looking thing here. And then step number four, we need part number 77A, which is on board number three, the middle here, with this design facing towards, uh, let's see, outside. That's gonna go on the left here. slide it in and push it in then 76a on board number four right at the center to to the right of the center closer to the bottom here and that goes on to the last side just like this that's our J box then moving on to the page number 20 and uh, let's see, we create a, uh, we need step number one of parts number 73B and 72B. 73B is on the right here. 
bottom right of board number four. And then 72B is on the bottom left of board number three. Uh, same scenario with the design facing, uh, let's see, facing towards the inside. And insert 72B with the tab facing you. Hole is closer to you, just like that. Wax the side of the 72B. Uh, and then we insert it into 74B, which is going to be on board number four, bottom left. Uh, that goes from the front with the tabs facing down. And the uh, 73, 72 subassembly goes on the right hand side from the back. like that 75b on board number four that's step number three uh, we put it we wax that side corner here just like on the other ones and then uh, with a corner to the left and closer to you the 70 uh, sub assembly 72 73 74 goes right into these holes right here or slots as far as they can go. Now 76B, 77. Let's see, 77B is on board number one, bottom right. And we can get rid of this board. There is an additional part here, five, which we already used and we don't need that spare. So I can throw it out. So 77B, goes on, let's see, onto the right side or with it, make sure the design is facing outwards. And then 76B is the last opening. It's on the board number four, right at the center here. There it goes on the last side. Just like that. Uh, now, we put them aside for now. That's gonna be K, uh, going down step number one on the bottom there of page 20. We need parts number 79. Two of them and 278. So it looks like they're on board number three. So 78, 179 right here at the center uh, line below the middle. 78 is on the right. And then the second 79 is at the top almost right here to the left of the center line. Now we need to wax the little tabs. Part number 78. And then we insert it into 79. So the smaller tab goes into the 79 on one side. And then for the other. And that goes on to the both K and L. So we have K and L. K is the one on the right, I guess. We turn them upside down. Or K and J. Is it J or L? J. So our J is on the side here. Uh, let's see. Neat. So that was our K. Okay, part number, uh, step number two, part number 80. Those are on bottom left of board number three. So those 80s go into the holes right here on that side. And then 
did sub assembly 78 79 they go the 79 towards the inside they go into these two little holes for on each box Uh, part number 21 uh, step number we're done with st step number five on page number so we're moving on to the page number 21 step number five uh, we open up the box and then we insert the K with that little triangle here onto this uh, cross and then J on the other side and then uh, step number one in that is that we need to fix that 79 part onto the little tab uh, let's see that is on um, right here on that longer rod I don't remember the number of it so that would be one is inserted on there So it needs to be sitting and then you put the box over see how we can accomplish this so the little uh, cross piece goes into that hole right here so we need I guess to start it first let's put a little bit of wax on it So we need that to make sure that part number 79 goes on that little tab of the the long rod here with the two dots. like that and then we do the same thing on the other side so we put a that's where the J goes we put a little bit of wax on that cross need to uh, get it on and make sure that 79 goes on that little tab kind of have to hold it on in the air a little bit gonna put it on first and then I'm gonna let's see take it off and so it's easier to put on second time and then we get that tap or 79 onto the tap here we go just like that and that should 
open up like that. Uh, that's we're done with step number 21. So moving on to the next step, we close the box. I'm not sure if you want to close the cover or if you want to push everything inside. Kind of closes up as we uh, just push everything inside. And then we put parts number 81 and 80, 81A and 81B on the sides there. So both of those are on board number four at the top right. So 81A is going to go on the left side and then 81B goes on the right. with the design facing outwards, obviously. And with this little tab facing towards you. So there's like two little um, tabs on the sides there. So just push it on as far as it can go. And then we do the same thing on the opposite side with 81A. And squeeze it on there so it's it's nice and tight on both sides just like this and then now uh, two 80s they go into the holes here both of those are on board on number my number three on the bottom uh, left so we need four of those there are four holes and uh, let's see I'll put a little bit of wax on both sides so it's gonna be easier to insert those components put these parts into the holes at the front once we do that we need parts number 82a and 82b they're on board number four next to 81 so 82a is on the left and 82b is on the right So those uh, 82B with the round off piece goes towards the, like a little rounded piece towards right. And get it right onto these parts, 80. And one side and the other side, it's a little design. Just like that. And we're done with page number 22 moving on to the page number 23 and that's the lock so we lock the box we press here right at the center so it kind of pops up open it up and then as we open it moving the parts out give it a little help especially in the beginning eventually will work itself in so as you push it out they will open up and now we we'll just close it by pushing everything into the inside and lock it up from the center. Once again, press it on the inside, open it. As you're opening, especially in the beginning, kind of help it out a little bit by pushing the bottom pieces here. Uh, once the uh, wax wears in and uh, all the burrs are removed, the motion will become smoother and smoother and smoother, so you only will open the cover and as you open the cover all the pieces will come into their respective places just like this and uh, this is pretty much completes our assembly so as I said you play a little bit longer with it and then it's gonna move smoother and smoother every single time uh, so uh, 
we're done with that assembly and now you can use it for storage of any components parts jewelry uh, whatever you would like um, there are some spare components as I mentioned before on the boards you can find them in the places it says plus next to them so they are lower different boards um, but if you break some other components you can always contact us for the replacement uh, if you purchase the model through our store gears.us or any of our affiliates the stores that i sell to uh, for resale uh, will replace the part at no charge if you bought it elsewhere uh, we can request free replacement through the manufacturer which which takes about three to four weeks or uh, for small three dollars and fifty cents shipping fee uh, I can ship the parts from my US warehouse which is located in Chicago land area so and the delivery will take um, anywhere between three and five business days depending on the first class mail that runs by um, our wonderful USPS uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below or send me email at info at ugears.us. Uh, my website is www.ugears.us. And uh, I'll see you guys soon uh, with the next assembly. Thank you. Bye.